Hello again, everyone. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're all well. Okay, so um, episode two we're on to now. So I just came down this little dirt track. Um, it was a left hand turn in off the road, and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get back to the main road and start going again, shall we? So um, still haven't damaged the car yet, and this is exactly where I'd stopped before. But I probably will damage the car, and. Um, I still haven't really decided what to do yet when I crash it. Um, yeah, I, I still don't know. So um, I was thinking about maybe using forfeit cars that get worse and worse. So maybe the next time I do this run, I'll have had the um, forfeit cars all kind of sorted out. So obviously there's some absolutely terrible cars on here. One of the really terrible cars that I wanted to um, use <laughs> well it's terrible in some ways was the Daewoo Matiz um, I don't know whether many people will know what that car is they were actually good cars but really only for cities and they were very very dangerous as well so I did download a mod for that but unfortunately there's um, textures missing and um, it just doesn't work because, yeah, they're, they're good, but they're not the kind of car you want to really be driving on this kind of game. Very good. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yep, I don't know how that happened. What was it first? Anyway, right, away we go. Yes, I hope you're all well. I hope you're all having a good one. I'm not sure what day this comes out because um, obviously I've got to mess around with it, upload and compress and all that kind of stuff. Another abandoned vehicle. Right, so it looks like we can drive up to this thing, so we'll be doing just that. So I won't be a dick overtaken and cut him up. Or her. I don't know what it is. Right, let's have a quick look at that sign. Sorry, everyone. I haven't seen anyone play it, so... Danger, high levels of lead and arsenic. Lovely. Right, we'll go up here, then. I went to a hotel once. I stayed at a hotel. And, um... So, I'd already booked in over the phone and paid up and uh, yeah so I couldn't do anything about it and I didn't know anything about the hotel so I just needed somewhere close to that point for work so and I was very far away from the area when I booked it anyway when I got there I had to sign a disclaimer to say that um, yeah I knew that there was uh, asbestos everywhere and I thought okay I just won't be going around scratching the walls and stuff but um, in the room that I stayed in I wish back then I had a decent camera phone but in the room that I stayed in there was just signs up everywhere saying about how much bloody asbestos there was and you know when you know that something's there and it makes you kind of feel like You've got it. Like, I felt like a bit of a hypochondriac after that. Right, so there's lots of um, abandoned cars there. I really like this. This is excellent. Yeah, I like it a lot. Graffiti as well. Perfect. Yeah, maybe this um, bloke should uh, do some work for the long drive because um, it certainly needs some extra bits for it to be fun again. I've really lost motivation, you know. I used to love playing it, but there was a few glitches and a few things where I felt like I was being trolled, like by the game. And I, I just kind of lost love for it. And it's not updated that regularly right well I like that it was a nice bit of scenery 
Oh, why did I put a welded diff? Oh, so that's my fault completely. I didn't press the clutch down enough. Right, I'm going to skip to this camera. Abandoned car. What are you doing? What's that blue thing over there? Let's go and have a look. Oh, excellent. So that's um that's Carl the one and then we've got a little garage over here as well perfect some scrap metal out of the back and a wagon wheel not the chocolate right so let's go and have a look at this little city up here Yep, I like it a lot. Tanker. Yeah, excellent. So, so far, I said in the um, kind of intro first video to this, I said that um, I'd do some challenges. And so far, um, there's been caravan challenge. So tow a caravan the whole distance, abandoned car. Um, the next one was do it in a motorhome and then there was do it in a three wheel so in the um what's it called pigeon in yellow with um a flat tire and a broken engine i think that just be too long I, I don't think i'll be able to do it and the pigeon unfortunately really struggles with hills but i will give it a try but i don't know whether i'll be able to see the flat tire and broken engine because they're bad enough as they are um, and they're only three cylinder as well actually you can get a you can get a four cylinder as well being stupid because sometimes the cars seem to swerve at me yeah and it's really not worth the risk that almost went into reverse then that's the only thing I don't like about this hate shifter it's just a little bit easy to put it into reverse by accident. Oh no. <sighs> yeah, this map looks really, really nice at night as well. And a lot of the maps that I've um, played on this game look crap at night, but I think it'll even come across really well through YouTube as well. But yeah, we'll find out, won't we?
Right, so is that an aeroplane? Yep. Nice. Right, be careful not to get it stuck. Oh. You see that? Okay, so I'm going to have to be a little bit careful here because I don't want to get the um, beamer stuck. Okay. Very good. Some seats there as well. Massive crater. Another building coming up. I will be properly exploring all of these. Um, yeah, because you can get out the car. So that looks like you can go in. Yeah, you can. So I will be exploring all of these in a future video. That sun is so bright. Move the car so again. Sorry, everyone. Right, another house. Cool. Gonna regret this, aren't I? Okay. Very nice, very nice indeed. Wouldn't be a bad view either, would it? Yeah, I think if I do a drift challenge on it, um, I'll probably have traffic off. Because, uh, yeah, it's quite unpredictable. I don't know whether that's a problem my end or a problem with the map, I really don't know. Or whether it's meant to be like that, so it might not be a problem at all. Another building that I should explore in a future one. Yeah, so if you're really disappointed with this and yeah, you want me to be stopping at all of them, I will be doing that. but. I've never, like, done this map before. I've never seen anyone else do it. So, at the moment, I'm just trying to kind of get to the end. I don't know how long it is. And I'm not um, saying that to get comments either. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> right, so what's this? Another building. Oh, this reminds me of a horror game a, a driving horror game where um you're chased by weird people and uh yeah you you initially see them in a building that looks a little bit like this you see them walk by and cast big shadows up the window excellent right so onwards move the cursor I can't remember what that game's called. I was recommended to play it quite a few times, but where it's all dark, it's it's not very good to watch, quite honestly. But I'm sure it's amazing to play.
Okay. Another building. What are you doing, mate? I don't know whether they're swerving me or what. And it could actually be the mod itself, because um, with this mod, I really, really like this mod. But when you put a turbo on, it spawns outside of the car, about four foot away from the car. So, yeah, I don't know whether it's something that people can collide with as well. Right, so we're going into this snowy bit now. And obviously we've got a rear wheel drive, powerful 5 series with a welded diff. So I don't know what's going to happen here. We might crash. So at the moment it doesn't feel really slippery but I haven't been doing like excessive um, acceleration or steering inputs. Right, nice water tower. Right, so this is floor in it. Right, so we're not breaking traction instead. Okay, I can feel sliding now, so yeah, there is a bit. What are you doing, mate? Okay. Yeah, I remember ages ago when I first got this game, I did download a mod where it was a map that was all snowy and everything and there weren't any different physics on I was so disappointed <laughs> I think it was quite a big file size so um, I downloaded it as I was going to bed and just left the PC on to download and uh, yeah really looking forward to it so in the morning I saw that it downloaded alright installed it and then it was just exactly the same but um yeah i was really wanting to be able to yeah drift about and have a bit of fun i haven't seen anything for a while but i'm i'm probably missing loads of stuff and i'm sure where the map is huge i'm sure there's a lot off-road as well that you can find right another kind of watchtower that would be good to um, explore we'll do that in a future one put some lights on It is full beam, but we're a beamer, aren't we? We don't care about other people. Yeah, obviously the rocks are all um, good as well. And references. Right, what's that? Okay. Nice, I like it. Right, and we're 20 minutes. Just 
go a little bit further. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Okay, well, so left axle broken. I wonder what happens if I press M for map. Let's try it. Ah. So we are actually quite close to the end. I haven't got that mod where you can um, press a button and um, repair damage, by the way. I haven't got that. I'm quite determined now to just get it done. So this episode's going to be a little bit longer. I am really sorry about that. So what damage is actually... Oh, there's a rock there. Oh, okay. <laughs> um... Hmm, that might be a little bit of a problem. Shame, isn't it? I did so well. Uh, we're so close. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it. So, this is kind of cheating, but donk. Let's go. Right, so I presume that there is meant to be a, like, bus stop. Can't believe I crashed it so close to the end. There's only a little tap. If I'd have lost a bumper or something, that would be more realistic. But I can't even remember what happened anyway, so it might have been a lot more severe than I remember. Another, like, maybe bus stop reference. I can't remember whether there's an odometer that I can uh, put on the user interface on there. I think there is. So that would be quite useful. Right, what's... Oh, right, okay, we're at the end. So we make... <laughs> very, very good. <laughs> Excellent. Well, some of you know... Um, <laughs> some of you will get this so I'd actually be quite happy about that um, so yeah that, uh, that brings us to the end of this journey so I've really enjoyed that it's the best map that I've got on uh, BeamMG and if any of you um, have any challenges please just let me know so obviously I can't do all of them and some of them I'll have to kind of adapt to make them more uh, possible but um i'll definitely look at all of them and i'll definitely consider doing any of the challenges so yeah just let me know so i will be trying to um find all the stuff on this map so that we can uh, give it some justice but yeah really liked it so thanks for joining me everyone 
And um, yeah, fingers crossed. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.